What the hell is wrong with you two? Everybody's working Listening to the rush hour Triple M I feel good. Ah, well, of course you feel good. You're listening to The Rush Hour, the number one show. Everyone loves it, goes for an hour, and it just completely and utterly dominates. Yep. I'll tell you what we've got today. Reese Shaw. Oh, yeah. After a poor performance by the Kangas on the weekend, they started the season nicely. Might have just started to believe a bit of the publicity, and uh, so we're going to speak to Reese about what happened in review mm-hmm. and how they butter up against the Hawks this weekend, of course. Yep. And then I see Hump Day Quiz. Well, yes, please. Which I can't quite oh, believe. Very, very good. every quiz that you run with is poor. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, a joke, and that won't make things better. Uh, hello to you, Fat. Uh, g'day, Jimmy boy. Great to be with you. And to you, Rabbit's Bartholomew. A Perth teenager says his 18th birthday was ruined when security refused him entry to a bar because of his mullet. Cooper Allen says mm. it's discrimination. Wasn't there to have a haircut. It was there to seek frothies. Mm. That's right. That's oh. it. Played that two days ago, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. But now, Bill, no new I, had stuff. It, I had it ready. Oh. And then I wasn't allowed to play Got it two no days new ago. Stuff. Yes, right. A couple um, of things, Bill. Jim. A couple of things. What? I've just been down to Coles oh, yes. to get dinner for tonight and walked past 15 people carrying the maximum size mm. dunny paper. Oh, no. We're back there, Bill. Don't tell me it's return. We've gone back to being nimrods in this state. Panic buying. Well, it, and it's because... The second wave, Jim. Oh, my God. Bill, the leadership, the messaging, it, it, it is so ordinary. And Be Bill, careful we, what you call our Premier. We live in messaging. Yeah, it, That's what we do for a we living. We do. Get it right, make it calm, make yeah. it concise, and get people to understand exactly what's going on. When you lecture people and start carrying on like a halfwit, yes. it causes what we're now seeing. Panic. Oh, I just, I cannot believe in 2020 we're back there again. It, well, it is astounding. Apparently the shelves are empty nearly oh. again, as you said, Well, as Jim. I just said, I, mm. I was down there and they and people oh, walking oh. out with the huge, great big bum wrap. I'm like, mate, please. Uh, now, the other thing uh, oh. that we need to do. All right. Uh, let's that. hope we're not going back to lockdown, by the way. Oh. I, I, now, I, I, talk about it. If you can let me just be serious for 20 seconds. Right, I, I am genuinely fearful of what will happen to our population if that happens. Yes. If we go back to where we were, I think there will be ramifications beyond what we're talking about with coronavirus mm-hmm. uh, to do with people's ability to cope, mental health, etc. Yeah. I hope we don't go back there. No, now, Bill, uh, you owe an apology. What? <laughs> no, no doubt. No, you're the one that never apologized. Well, because I'm never wrong. I said oh. that you heard that off the yeah. top, whereas yeah. you were horribly wrong. Uh-uh. When? Oh, well, uh, rabbits. Well, you could easily just say... Essendon. <laughs> Couldn't you, Damo? I know it's not their fault, kind of, but every time there's something, Damo. Bill, every not their time. fault at all. Why? Connor McKenna has now been uh, been exonerated. Not yet. He has not got coronavirus. It's confusing. So, therefore, because he has been exonerated, mm. you can now say that I apologise profusely for what I said about the Essendon Football Club. Mm. Bill, mm. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Bill, mm. you said that he had brought I'm... the competition to its knees, and he hasn't. Jim, he hasn't actually done anything wrong. I didn't say that about Connor. I said the other mob, the well, team. Well, so here we'll, we'll just Rabs. Mm. We'll give you all the room you need to gracefully apologise mm. to the Essendon Football Club. <laughs> F- Essendon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Jim! Fat, you Jim, can't run with that! Every time! No, every single time! Wrong. Something blows up, guess where it is? Oh, poor old Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy, oh yeah, oh, now he's a been poor a bit there. Exactly right, poor old Jimmy. <laughs> he, has, uh, he has absolutely done but nothing wrong. I must admit out there, Jim, I am confused, because on the back of the Herald Sun... I'm confused. Uh, we need Michael Rabbit saying, I'm confused. <laughs> I've got to go to, go to Sydney, and then I've got to do Melbourne. <laughs> but Friday pending, Jim. Then oh. Saturday positive. Yes. Tuesday negative. Negative. And I reckon tomorrow will be negative. Negative. So I am confused. Well, no, what you are is apologetic for oh. the way that you slighted that club. No, so I went to Brett Sutton. Do you know who he is? A household yes. name now yeah, because yeah. he's uh, Victoria's officer. chief health officer oh. and he explained uh, how the COVID-19 tests work. Well, it's a positive test. Uh, it's being treated as a confirmed positive. There are lots of people who test positive one day. Uh, they're at the very tail end of their infection. They test negative the following day. Uh, if you get two negative tests 24 hours apart, you as a case are clear. 
uh, but your close contacts are the contacts um, uh, of you when you're potentially infectious. They have to go through their 14-day quarantine period and that'll apply uh, to Connor McKenna's contact as for anyone else. Mm. Oh, so, oh, Jimmy, just doing a wrestling drill. <laughs> now he's got 14 days on his own. So Connor was at the end of it, a tail end of it apparently, Jim, and right. then two negative tests which will happen, so he should be all right. But I think he's still got 14 days, but they might be able to help out Jimmy Boy. But, Bill, explain to me this. How wasn't he picked up earlier? Because he would have been tested prior to the one that was irregular. When he, How, wa yeah, when he, had, he, when he had it, yeah. apparently. Yeah. So yeah. why wasn't he picked up then? That's if he did have it. Well, this is my whole point. Well, that's why we're confused. Oh, we're confused. Yeah, we are, Jim. Because right. he mightn't have had it. No, that's what I'm saying. And then there's a bloody... Uh... And you've piled into him? I haven't pulled into him, Jim. I told you. I just the Personal other Personal vendetta. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> no, what, you got an anti-Irish thing I or love something. the little Irishman. Yeah. I little, little Irishman to be sure, to be sure. I tell you what, he's not sure to be sure, no. to be sure. No. What else have we got, please? Uh, I tell you what, very serious, this one, Jim. Uh, Eddie Betts, who Eddie was Betts. a bloody star. Love him. And was very good against the Cats Saturday night. Oh, yes. He was on uh, 360 last night. Have a listen to this. He was very, very emotional. You know, that tweet came out and then... I actually wasn't going to post it up, so I've had to be honest. I, I thought, you know, what's going to happen? You know, do I have to deal with it again? The stress, the it's just tiring, just fighting, 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 and it just keeps happening every year. It, it just drains you, and, and and you and you kind of think, why am I playing footy? You know, but then I, then I think to myself, I need to let people know what I'm going through. It's draining, so I needed people to understand that. I've got to set up barriers every day when I leave the house. I think I'm going to get racially abused when, I, when I'm driving or when I, when I go to a supermarket. You know, all I want to do is just rock up to training, play, enjoy the game of footy. But before then, I've got to set up barriers for myself because I get racially abused. I want the AFL to be a safe platform for young Aboriginal kids to, to come and enjoy and play footy without being racially abused. And if I have to cop with most of this um, racial abuse coming my way to set the standards in the future so these young Aboriginal kids can come and play footy and enjoy it without being racially abused. I'm happy to cop the brunt, but at the moment, uh, just getting sick and tired. Tiring, Jim. A very uh, passionate. He, at times, he was angry last night. He's frustrated. But what about that? Before you leave the home, You've set up barriers because mm. you know you're going to get racially abused. That's not right, Jim. No, well, and we were talking about people with toilet paper in 2020. How is that still happening in 2020? Surely, yeah. going back to Nicky Winmar and before, yep. we, were, we were educated as to how wrong that is. That's right. How, how, do, how all these years later, is it still happening? Um, I find what? it astounding. You know why, Jim? People don't listen. So you've got to listen to that and really listen to it and put your, put your own feet in his shoes. Well, of course. I can't believe that. You've got... Hang on, I'm going to walk outside now, get him a car and get down to the supermarket. What? A, well, now, look out. And you've I've got, got to get ready yeah, to be yeah, potentially racially barriers. abused. Wow. And look, if you listen to the experts, which I am a long way from, but if you listen to the experts, they say that racism is not inherent, it's learnt. Right. So let's just hope ah. that when the generations yeah. roll through that we start getting rid of it well, because it, there is no place for it. Exactly right. Uh, speaking of footy, oh, what about round seven over in the West, Jimmy boy? Oh, hello. 60,000 at the local Derby. Derby. They call it the Derby over there, Bill. Oh, right. I don't know why, I must admit, but because Derby call... is correct, but no. Derby is right. the way they Derby. go with it. Yep. 60,000 people round oh, seven. Good. I don't think they've worked out who will host the Derby. Derby. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which is the home team. Which you'd like oh, to see. you'd like to host it, wouldn't you? Oh, bloody oath. It's a bit of money there. Well, the should... Premier's getting his eye in over there, is thinks that what? they're uh, coming in to host the grand final. Well, they might be odds oh. on. Oh, they, they, you can't back them anymore because they're uh, shortening up. Shortening Jim. right yeah, up. They are. Hey, oh, uh, that'd be nice, Bill. Just a week over in the West, we, October. Oh, stay at we, Crown, well, hello. Then. Stay at Crown. Would, Our geez, good friends are getting ourselves nicely acclimatised. Uh, <laughs> and a couple of clubs are going to have to go over there in the next hub. There'll be a hub in <clears throat> WA, possibly, well, we won't might, there? We'll be asking Reese about that, who's coming on shortly. Well, there'll be Geelong, Collingwood, St Kilda, Western Bulldogs, Carlton, and or North Melbourne yes. Hawthorne. So mm. Mm, that'll right. be interesting. Yes. But he, is he very happy with himself? Mark McGovern now. McGowan. <laughs> No, Mark McGowan's a bloke who drinks it. He's happy with himself because he picked the quaddy on the weekend, Jim. But McGowan is too, the Premier. Oh, I'll tell you also, uh, yes. also, I'll tell you also who's happy with himself, who? Jim. Uh, Novik Djokovic. What about him now? Oh, that party's gone well for him. Well, oh. 
<laughs> what the hell is he on know. about? Well, how big the party was because there's been three uh, tennis players, him and his missus. Yes. About another six people all tested positive. Bloody hell. That is a big, big one it there, uh, Djokovic now. Mm-hmm. Mm, served a few well, you, up. You don't have to make him sound like a rugby league player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he plays tennis. But, I think he's dropped it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's Ramsey Warren now. And, Jim, that's about all. That's a nice little start, I would have thought. Oh, no, very nice. Yeah. No, I like it, Fat. Mm. All right. So let's speak to Reece Shaw, one of the more impressive young coaches. Coaches in the AFL next. For Foxtel, this is Triple M's Rush Hour, JB and Bill. Watch every game from every round live and ad break free during play on Foxtel. Every.